We're going to be looking at creating a custom caustic pass now. Um, if you remember from the lighting chapter, uh, to create a caustic effect, there's basically three ingredients needed. Uh, you want to define a caustic transmitter. So in this case, we have our glass sculpture, a caustic receiver. So we have the floor here and an actual photon emitting light. So we've got one spotlight here. And to do this at the pass level, what we're going to do is move these objects into their own partitions and enable the caustic options at the partition level. So uh, to do that, let's just create a new empty pass. We'll name that caustics. So what we want to do is select the transmitters. In this case, there's only one. And do partition new. We'll call that transmitters. And we'll do the same for the receivers. So we select the floor, partition new, call that receivers. Now, the next thing we want to do is apply an actual override to set the caustic option uh, for that partition. So with the transmitter partition selected, I'm going to do get property override. We'll add a parameter and we want to add the caustic transmitter option. So that's found under the visibility piece set. So with that added, we enable it. And we want to do the similar uh, sort of thing with the receiver. So select the receiver, partition, get property override, add parameter. And under the visibility property, caustic receivers, enable that. And turn that on. So now we have our uh, caustic receiver and transmitters defined. We just need to enable caustics for the light. So with the light selected, modify shader. And I can just enable that. Um, I actually already had it on, but enable it on the actual light. Since when we're not on this pass, there are no caustic receivers and transmitters defined. So the caustics won't actually be used. And as well, we won't have the caustics option enabled for the actual render options and the other passes. So we're fine just to leave it on on the light, actually. Um, so everything's pretty much set. Let's just crank the intensity here to 1 million. I'll come back to that in a second. And we'll draw a region. Now we don't see the effect because I need to enable that in the actual region options. So if you go region options, Oton tab, we have a caustics option that we want to enable. And we'll just leave the defaults here. Um, and it's important to remember to enable that for the render options as well. So open up the render options of your caustic pass, go to your photon tab, and enable the caustics there. So now it's enabled only for this pass. So you can see the effect there. And um, we can tune the effect, but I'm just going to leave it as is for now since that's not the main goal here. Um, what we want to do is actually extract this caustic uh, lighting effect um, only. So what we want to do is use the photon irradiant shader to do that. So um, what we do is we select the receivers and we want to apply the photon irradiant shader to it. So I'm just going to add a Lambert material to just to add a dummy material to the partition so I can go into render tree and actually have it appear. And from here I can quickly, under the illumination nodes, get the photon irradiant shader. And what that does is it actually takes um, photons cast on its surface and only renders those uh, opaque. So the rest of the channel, the alpha channel, is transparent. So it allows you to composite the photon pass on top of your actual normal uh, beauty pass. So just plug that into the surface and it'll take a second update but there you go we've extracted the photons um, only for this pass. If we actually look at the RGB and alpha uh, let me move this to wireframe you can see we've only got the photons in that pass. We can look at the alpha and that's the kind of effect we want. So the last thing is we want to actually hide um, uh, these objects for primary rays so they don't show up either the speakers and the actual glass object so let's select the background object partition and to hide them for primary rays we have to do this through an override so get property override 
add parameter. Under the visibility piece set, you have the primary rays option. Mark that, and now we want to turn that off. It'll take a second to refresh. Now you can see we've eliminated all those other objects. The glass is not in the background object partition. That's in the transmitter partition. So we want to go to the override and actually disable primary rays there as well. So under the visibility piece set, mark the primary rays, and we'll disable that. And there you have it, a quick, simple, caustic pass. If we want to clean up the effect a little bit, we can go on the light and really quickly just increase the number of photons. Uh, let's go something like 40,000 just to get a smoother look. And as well, we can control the actual caustic color here. So if I want to tint it a little bit, we can do something like that. And there you have it, a caustic pass.